Nagumo and Shishiba cruise down the highway, talking casually while on their way to complete an assignment that apparently required three order members. Unfortunately, the third order member, given this mission, Osaragi, was left behind at a rest stop when she went to get snacks. As Nagumo and Shishiba realize this, with Shishiba threatening to kill Nagumo, they both notice as the van in front of them has two dudes pull out guns and start firing. The two order members casually dodge the bullets, being more concerned with the fact that their rented van now has bullet holes in it, before Nagumo goes to the roof of the van, talks about his gold assassin license, and then casually hops over to the enemy van and kills everyone in it. Shishiba notices three more vans trailing them as he casually deflects an onslaught of bullets with his hammer before taking the guy that shot at him and using him as a human shield. Shishiba then rams into one of the enemy vans, causing it to flip over and blow up as Nagumo appears on the roof of another van, stabbing a guy in the arm and then using his sword to turn the steering wheel, causing the last two vans to collide into each other, blowing all of them up. Nagumo then hops back into the van with Shishiba, the two talk about who the random goons they just fought could have been working for. Their discussion is cut short, however, as an unknown man holding a three-section staff appears on the car hauler truck in front of them, leaving both Nagumo and Shishiba speechless as he swings his staff and destroys their van. Nagumo and Shishiba both fly out of their van and start fighting with this guy, who seems completely unfazed with having to go 1v2 with order members. The unknown guy kicks a car at Nagumo, before slicing the supports of the car hauler and blocking Nagumo's attacks. A car drops in front of Nagumo as Shishiba appears behind the guy with the staff, only to get his hammer blocked. Shishiba's eyes widen in surprise as he realizes who the guy is, before Osuragi drops from the sky and enters the fight. The unknown man blocks Osuragi's saw as he starts backing up, and it's at this point that we get our first line of dialogue from him, when he says that fighting three active members of the order would be too much, before disappearing. The man, as we now know, is Satoru Yotsumura, the order member whose pure presence scared Nagumo and Shishiba. Also, he was banished from the GAA after failing his mission to protect the chairman from assassins. Yotsumura's entrance into the story is honestly just so cool. Following Nagumo and Shishiba making a joke out of the goons that were sent to kill them, readers were reminded of just how strong the two order members are. For these two monsters to be left speechless as Yotsumura pulls up in front of them really sets him up as a threat. The whole tone of the manga even changes when Yotsumura is first shown, with his face being covered and his three-section staff instantly making things more ominous and mysterious. Later on in chapter 79, following his brief scuffle with Nagumo and Shishiba, Yotsumura is shown chilling in some traditional Japanese place with a bunch of his goons complaining to him about how he didn't warn them of the order's strength. The goons talk about how they support X's revolutionary vision of the assassin world, only threatening to kill Yotsumura if he didn't share the same energy. Yotsumura replies by basically calling them idiots, claiming that assassins are bland by nature since they have to be invisible with their intent to kill. He then swings his staff in front of him and cleaves through the three guys that stood in front of him along with the wall and two other guys behind him. We get a greater sense of how much of a threat Yotsumura is in chapter 95, when Nagumo visits the JA base in Kyoto. There, this random guy lists off a bunch of assassin businesses Yotsumura annihilated, along with the 46 confirmed dead members of the JA. Even though the random guy literally just listed off stats that would make Yotsumura a huge threat, he then questions whether or not if Yotsumura is really that dangerous since he's only one guy. Fukumitsu, the director of the JA's Western Japan headquarters, replies by saying that a single order member would be more than enough to wipe out an entire branch of the JAA, warning him to not underestimate Yotsumura. Briefly after Yotsumura's confrontation with Nagumo, Shishiba, and Osaragi, we get a quick statement from Shishiba that props Yotsumura up even further. When talking about the reason for sending three order members on the mission, Shishiba states that if Nagumo and Osaragi don't take their fight with Yotsumura seriously, they could just die. So when it was time for Shishiba and Yotsumura to fight, the tension was crazy high and the community at the time was legitimately concerned that Shishiba could die. Yotsumura by this point had been shown to be confident in fighting two order members at the same time, and him just appearing could scare both Nagumo and Shishiba. He also had a host of other statements about his abilities to wipe out branches of the JAA and his potential to kill Nagumo and Osuragi if they didn't take him seriously. Needless to say, the story made Yotsumura seem like an absolute monster. Obviously, we now know the outcome of Yotsumura's fight with Shishiba, and I already made a video about it, so I won't be going into detail here. But just as a quick summary, we see that throughout the fight, Shishiba and Yotsumura are somewhat relative, with Shishiba holding a slight advantage. 
He's able to block a lot of Yotsumura's attacks, take less damage, at least in the earlier portion of the fight, and by the end, we see that Shishiba also likely has a higher battle IQ than Yotsumura as well. The fight ends with Shishiba using his super polished hammer as a mirror to read Yotsumura's attack, before picking up said hammer and landing a hit on Yotsumura's throat. The main thing I want to call attention to is Shishiba's statement that every time he and Yotsumura fought, he had to look for an excuse to kill him, and now he was tired of that. This statement has led many to believe that Shishiba had been holding back, either in prior fights or even just earlier in the same fight, and that coupled with the fact that Shishiba didn't seem to be struggling too much during the whole fight and seemingly mid-diffed Yotsumura, has led many to believe that Yotsumura really isn't that strong in terms of the order. While on a pure power scaling perspective, that may be true, for a more narrative-based assessment of Yotsumura's character, I think that's really unfortunate. Like I had been alluding to for the whole video, the story really set up Yotsumura to be some insanely strong banished assassin. His introduction was a complete tone shift for the story, and from that point on, every character that talked about him continued to build up his strength. Shishiba was wary of him, JAA directors were wary of him, and Nagumo even shows up after the fight to comment that it was pretty impressive for Shishiba to beat someone as strong as Yotsumura. So I think that, with all this hype and all the statements that Yotsumura received up to and even after his fight with Shishiba, it's a little unfortunate that he lost in such a way that let people believe Shishiba mid-diffed him, and then proceeded to become Nagumo's pawn right after. Ultimately, Yotsumura definitely still has some solid relevance in the story. We've yet to see him and Amane interact after Amane got over his hatred, I think there's still plenty for him to uncover in regards to Rion's death, especially with Nagumo and X finally having an encounter in the current museum arc. Personally, I still think Yotsumura is pretty strong, and possibly really underrated due to his main feats coming from a fight he lost. I also think that there's a decent possibility that he shows up in the current arc to have an interaction with Amane and shock Shishiba with the fact that he's still alive to really shake up the status quo, and possibly shed more light on Nagumo's end goal. But at the end of the day, I just wanted to remind people that despite the L's he's taken, Yotsumura is still the order member that scared Nagumo and Shishiba.